Hi there, my name is Alana, and today we're going to be doing a Kate Spade haul unboxing. Now, I bought most of these things in their recent sale, but there are two things I picked up over the summer that I didn't feature on my channel. So let's um, let's get into this unboxing. We have some accessories, we have bags, we have shoes. And so I'm just gonna unbox everything, tell you a little bit about why I bought it. And if you see something that maybe you wanna see a review on, or you wanna see more in depth, how I style it, etc., just let me know down in the comments and I will add that to my content list. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the shoes. These are without a doubt the most practical items that I purchased. So we're gonna start with this shoe box. First of all, I love the Kate Spade shoe boxes. They're so sturdy and come packaged so nicely with that beautiful sort of spade motif. Okay, let's get these out. Okay, so this is how the shoe comes. I'm just gonna pop out some of the... Okay, so these are the Midge Bow 2. I like them because they have a sturdy but modest heel and a beautiful sort of Chanel inspired tweed on the toe, little bow on the side, and a strap in the back. So I picked these up um, because honestly I haven't been to my office since March of 2020. I'm still working from home. I am going into the office uh, next week for one whole day, so I'm just getting more comfortable going to the office for one whole day, but I'm not like that's not consistent. That's just kind of a one-off. But we are starting to talk more and more about the return to work and I wanna get some just some cute office -y shoes to kinda of get me in the mood. I haven't bought new office wear in a very long time. Do the price. Okay, I don't have the price on these. I'm gonna leave all the prices down below. Um, anyways, I purchased these in a buy more, save more event. So these were actually 40% off because I spent a pre-sale amount of 600, which I thought was pretty reasonable. Um, I will say that generally for the price of shoes from Kate Spade, I find that if you're able to get them on 30% off, 40% off, something like that, it really brings it in par with just normal office wear shoes, but then you get the joy of wearing something a little fancier with Kate Spade. So super excited about these, very practical for work, and I'm just, I just love them. So these are an easy pick, uh, largely because they are so Chanel inspired. So this next pair of shoes that I'm opening up is the Audrey. Let's tie those up. So this is the Audrey. It's a white running shoe. Now it does come, I believe, in other shades. This has gold in the back, white shoe, with a little bit of sort of a perforated spade motif. And I actually picked these up because I was doing a lot of walking last month and I got the worst blisters on my feet ever. It was like actually debilitating. It was awful. And so I realized that, you know what, I need some responsible footwear. And running shoes is not something I've really invested in as an adult, but I realized I need practical footwear. Now, I haven't shared this a lot on my channel, but at the end of the month, my husband and I are going on our first vacation since, honestly, since our honeymoon, which is insane. We're going on our first vacation at the end of the month, and the trip that I'm planning, if you follow me on Insta, I've definitely left some hints in my stories, but the trip that I'm planning involves a lot of walking. So I wanted a really cute pair of running shoes that would photograph well and look nice with my dresses, but more importantly, save my feet from bleeding. So that was the responsible intention behind these shoes. And again, I picked this up in the buy more, save more event. Okay, so next up we have this little box. Now I picked this up in the summer and I actually filmed me unboxing it and then the footage was all corrupted, and then I just didn't feel like refilming it, and I had to move. I just had a lot going on. I was setting up my beauty room, the room, my beauty slash like filming room. It's still not set up. Um, and so you know what? I actually thought about like refilming it, and I thought about even fixing a foot, and I'm like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna include it in this haul because who doesn't like more haul content? Okay, so this is it in the box, and this is from their Jacquard line, and this it matches my running shoes and my market tote. I'm gonna leave a link to my market tote down below. I'm just obsessed with this blue and white embroidered flower, flower, I was gonna say, it's blending flower and floral as a word. Design, it does have a vinyl interior and it's just a really sweet little cosmetics case. I think I'm actually gonna bring this on the trip. It has a navy leather base and so yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this on the vacation. I just think it's so, so beautiful and I just, 
I, I love the blue and white combo. It feels very Dior to me, and more than that, blue is my favorite color for me to wear, my favorite color for home decor. I do love pink, but you know, you can't wear pink all the time. Um, and so blue is kind of, I'll wear it a lot for work, I'll wear it just for fun. I, I love, honestly, navy and this like cornflower blue, my favorite. So I wanted to pick up another piece in this collection and I just thought this was really, really sweet. This was in their summer collection. Okay, so next up, let's open up this box. So this one I picked up in the summer and it was, you can see, I still haven't actually taken it out. I was gonna do an unboxing just for this and Anyways, things have just been busy, so I'm just getting back into the swing of filming. Um, this one was 30% off, and it is so sweet, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look up what this one is called, but it is a round bag. I don't have any round bags. It has a golden strap, uh, like a golden metal chain, and a little bit of leather on top. And this is, again, in that kind of embroidered jacquard, but in their summer cherry print. Now this print, this fabric, nothing in this collection ever goes on sale, but this was such a good deal. And I thought the round bag was really, really sweet on me. So I actually picked this one up when I did my sort of Kate Spade try on video. So I'm gonna leave that link down below where I'm pretty sure I hinted to getting this one, but this just seemed like a really fun sort of fall transitional bag. And inside you've got a place for some cards. It's a lot bigger than you'd think. Um, but I just thought this was such a fun piece for fall and I just, yeah, I, I think it's super cute. I haven't worn it yet, but it's October now, so why not? Um, and I'm not gonna lie, at first the cherries were kind of a hard sell for me, but as I sort of warmed up to it, I really, it, like it really grew on me. I think it's because it has the pink and the brown and it just kind of makes the green work. But this is just such a pretty soft feminine bag and I did need something just kind of cute, different every day, but I wanted in the brown leather. So I'm very, very happy about this one. Okay, so next up, I think we're gonna save the biggest for last. So next up, we're gonna go into this one. Now, this was another bag that I picked up this summer and this one, just with the timing, again, with my move and unpacking and everything, I didn't get a chance to film it for just its own little unboxing. Um, this one makes me happy and sad. So I'm just gonna show you, I haven't touched it yet. It's still intact. So let's open this up and then I'm gonna tell you why it makes me sad. Um, okay, honestly it makes me sad because it's such a beautiful bag. So it's in the dust bag. We're just gonna open that up. She's never seen the light of day. So let's just pop some of this off so you can appreciate her. Okay, so this is the bag. This is the medium Margot. Now Margot can be used as a top handle or a crossbody. I'm gonna leave some videos linked down below about the Margot because I do have two of the minis in a pink and a blue and then this is my first medium. I honestly think Margot is one of the best bags that Kate Spade has ever come up with, but unfortunately uh, they discontinued it. I just, I love the soft kind of curves to the bag. I love the structure. I love that it's pebbled leather. I love top handle, I love crossbody, it's just a fantastic bag. And the reason I actually picked this one up in the summer is I knew that this fall I wanted either a black or a burgundy crossbody bag that'd be work appropriate, but maybe not a work bag, you know, not like a bag that I would like necessarily carry my laptop and lunch in. But if I was just going downtown for the day or can I need something to transition day to night? And anyways, I was just looking for basically this bag. Um, and when they were discontinuing Margot, they had her on a crazy, crazy sale. Pretty sure I got this bag for under 200 at the boutique, which is fantastic, because um, it regularly went for about 350. And anyways, I, just, I knew that I wanted to get this bag, so when my sales assistant texted me that Margot was going away forever and ever, um, once it was on a good enough sale, I asked her to set aside a black one for me. So I haven't used this one yet because I don't really like to wear black bags in the summer, but this bag is totally with the intention of, I'm just gonna straighten those out over the course of time, but totally with the intention of enjoying her this fall. Because like I said, I love that you can wear it in the crook of your arm, crossbody, detachable and adjustable strap. I mean, this bag really is fantastic and I love the minis I have. So I'm excited to have just a clean, good condition, black bag for everyday work appropriate fall and winter. So that's this one. You know what, let's put her on display. 
let's just put her right there. Okay, and my last item, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, this is the box. <laughs> so it's one of the big boxes. And this is another something that if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll have heard me reference on and off that this is something I wanted to pick up. Well, with the Buy More Save More sale, this is again another thing that I picked up in the Buy More Save More, where I was able to save a lot of money on it. That combined with the theme with the shoes of you know, starting to talk about returning to the office. Not returning to the office right away. Anyways, that's a few hints, so let's let's open this one up. Again, it's packaged just beautifully. I'm gonna put that over there. Open up the dust bag. Okay. So this is the bag. It might not be the most exciting. It is a very basic black tote from Kate Spade. I believe this is the everyday or the all day bag. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. But a couple of things I liked about this bag when I tried it on, it fits really well like over my shoulder. Um, and you know, it fits comfortably over the shoulder, lots of room so I know it's gonna fit well over my shoulder with a jacket. Um, I actually really like that when you open it up, it's just one big compartment because again, that makes it easier to fit your like lunch, your water bottle, you know, any documents you might be carrying, your laptop. Now I love that, and I do think this is inspired by the Neverfull. It comes with a little, little like a little pouch. This is in sort of a wine burgundy color, um, you know, with a little bit of a vinyl pink interior. Um, really cute little pouch, nice little add-on. And then it actually also has a clip right in the middle to, clip up so that way you've got a little bit more security. Now I've said this a thousand, okay I'm just gonna have to, you know what, we're gonna put this one. Now I've said this a bunch of times on my channel that I don't like open tote bags and that is true. However, um, my kind of my needs have changed. So when I had said previously that I don't like open tote bags, it's because generally I was taking, I was walking down the street, down the busy streets of Toronto getting on the subway, getting off the subway, just a lot of opportunities to be up and close with people and for someone to just pop their hand in your bag and steal something valuable to you. Well, since then I've moved up to the suburbs, so I'm driving a lot more. So for the most part, I'm gonna be transporting myself alone. Or if I am on public transit, it's on the GO train, which it's not crowded the way the subway is. You know, pre-COVID when I would take the subway to work, we would be just jammed in there and sometimes there'd actually be, forget no seats, there'd be no space on rush hour. And sometimes you'd have to wait for three or four trains to go by to just literally like shove yourself in there. So I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I hope this gives you something. <laughs> And anyway, so now that I'm transporting myself in a way that has a lot more space and it's not as congested, I'm, it's not that I'm not worried about my safety and security, but it's not as immediate of a thought. Um, and so, yeah, like, you know, I think if I was gonna do something really, really congested, I do have other bags that are zipped across, but generally speaking, because I will be driving myself or taking the GO train, I'm, I'm not as worried about the need for the zip, so I'm okay that it has an open top. Um, I'd say the biggest quality I liked about this bag was that it was plain, it was black, and it was a single compartment. The only thing I don't like about the bag is the contrast stitching, but I knew I was gonna get um, a tote like this for back to work. I'm not sure if I'm going back to work this fall or this winter, but I know it's coming. Um, so I did want to be prepared and it was a great deal with the sale. I looked at a few other bags, but this one was the winner and it was the cheapest. So anyways, those are the things that I've picked up from Kate Spade both recently and over the course of the summer that I haven't shared with you guys yet. Um, let me know if there's anything that you'd really like to see in a video. I am planning on doing a video on the black tote because I do think that it's a really lovely, useful work bag and I'm excited about that. Um, but if there's anything else that you really want to see a video on, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of unboxing haul with me. I know I love watching content like this and it's been a while since I put out like things I picked up from Kate Spade. So if you like luxury and contemporary handbags, if you like beautiful makeup, then please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.